Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Big Brother house tour. Um, it does look a little bit different than from the speed build. I did go ahead and fix the outside so it is just kind of a giant square. Looks a little bit more warehousey like it actually is. Um, and I did change the wall colors. Uh, I just I just felt like this one worked better. Um, but let's go ahead and jump on inside. So here will be the front entryway. Obviously we have the main door right here. We have the memory wall, just a little front sitting area. Everything looks about the same since we built it. Um, except from we do have our house guests moved in. We have the memory wall all set up and we will do an introduction to the house guests at the end of the tour. Um, here's, you know, the kitchen. It's the exact same, basically. Everything is kind of the exact same at the moment. Um, but let's go ahead and move into the bathroom. We have these nice little fun things from Get Famous that I thought were cute. And I love that little sword detail. It's very, very cute. Um, I do have them pause right now since our house guests are indeed in the house. And this is the save file I am going to be playing with. Um, I did fix this area right here, which I mentioned in the speed build. Um, the balcony just wasn't working properly with this room that's over here. Which is actually probably my favorite room so pretty. I love this. I love a little fan. I'm just gonna pause it for a second. Um, I don't know. It's really nice. You know, they can chat. They can plot in here. I believe last was it? I think it was last year was the geometry room. I think that's what it was called. Um, here we have the bathroom. Cute little crab. It's very colorful. Very, you know, by the sea-ish. I really wanted it to be kind of like a beachy theme. And then we have, you know, the showers and the toilets here. Um, all the stalls look exactly the same. We have a shower right here, pretty standard. I should probably put like rugs in there. Um, then we have the toilet. Um, I did put in four of each because yes, in the normal Big Brother, we have well, two showers downstairs and we have the one bathroom, but those are real people. These are Sims and they will pee themselves and I don't feel like dealing with that. So I went to the wrong thing, I think. Yes, I did. Um, let's go back over here. Um, here is the backyard area. You know, we have the nice sitting area. We have this little horseshoe game. They have like a hacky sack game they usually end up playing. Um, we have the jacuzzi or hot tub, whatever you want to call it. The pool. We have these little sitting areas, which are supposed to be like beach loungers, but you know, that's fine. We have a slip and slide rock climbing wall, which is supposed to be inside, like from last season. They had it behind the main couch in the living room. But um, yeah, it poked through the ceiling, so that is no longer there. We have some yoga things and all of that, exercise equipment, foosball table, laundry, standard stuff. Now let's go to this one. So we do see the main living room area. This, These are our house guests just hanging out. Cute little preview of them. I did fix the tapestries that I kind of, I guess, misplaced. Um, actually, no, I didn't misplace that. I had to drag out a wall and it kind of screwed up the placements, but that's okay. Um, this is the TV where, you know, the host, Julie, would be talking through them. But um, I just put the mirror there so they can't actually watch TV. <laughs> um, we do have the diary room. Um, the entrance should be down here, but I kind of messed up the placement of the doors. Um, so we do have the diary room right in here. They'll be able to chat and vent out whatever they need to vent out. There is another glass here. And with the camera behind it and all of that. I actually think I need to change the orientation of the one living room. Um, but we do have a computer in case anyone does get sick. I will be having whoever is the head of household at that time come in and order some medicine for them. Because if someone does fall ill, they do have medics right there for them. Yeah, I need to change that to be the other way around. Anyway, in here we have the storage room, which is basic. Usually they get their groceries and stuff through here. But um, I, I had locked the door. Um... And I just put in like a bunch of items that we could potentially use for, you know, challenges to see who gets kicked out and whatnot. So we come down this hallway and we have, you know, some closet space and then we have the green bedroom. This will be where, you know, they sleep. I really enjoyed making this room. I was really into like the lime green feel of things. I might re-upload this entire build because this is on the gallery. I think it's a, it's a little bit out dated I might have to re-upload it um to include the because the tapestries are still screwed up I believe in the one I uploaded and we have and the paintings aren't these house guests but I might re-upload a version of it without any CC the only CC in this room I believe are the walls um but anyways through here we have the pink bedroom 
Again, more closet space. Very pink and pretty. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd like a nice theme room. And I think last year we had a pink room actually as well. Got some sweet pink flamingos. Kind of everywhere. Yeah, I really like this bedroom. It's probably my fave. Oh, no, the HOH room is really good. Um, and in here we have the have not room. It's, good. it's like a very outdoorsy type feel. We have a nice little cloud up there and the shadow. Ugh, this really bugs me <laughs> that when you size up this like heart sculpture, the shadow stays small. But we're going to pretend that's not there for right now. Um, so this is where the have nots will sleep. There will only be two at a time and we probably will only have it for a few in-game Sims weeks. Um, just because it's... I don't know. It's, it's a little weird, if only because we only have two and I can't restrict their diets in any way because I'm not supposed to be able to control them. So therefore I can't make them eat certain things. And plus that would be a lot of a lot of micromanaging. Um, but here are the stairs by the bathroom that we just came up. We have a little dart game, some funky lights to kind of go with this decor up here, chess table. You know, fish tanks, is there, there's usually at least one fish tank in the Big Brother house. We have another foosball table. I put up, don't like the, just to give them something to do because, you know, we need to watch them do some stuff. Um, and there's that. And this room over here is going to be like the challenge room. Like if there's like a painting challenge, we'll go in here. Obviously, if there's something like rock climbing, we're going to have to go outside and I'll have to make room somewhere and figure all that out. Um, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Over here we have the head of household room, which I love this room. It is so pretty. Originally this started off as being red, which was in the speed build and it just, it wasn't cute. But this, I love this room. It's very nice. This is where the head of household will be sleeping for a week. They have their own private bathroom. They even have their own fridge. Very nice, pretty bathroom area. I would live here. This is like my dream come true. Um, their shower's a little bit nicer. Nice little purple details. Um, this room probably has the most custom content, like these walls are custom content, those walls are custom content, <laughs> um, but it's still really, really nice and I'll give them the nice toilet and all that. So that is the house in a nutshell, really. So let me take us back down to our house guests and I have to get up my notes because I don't remember everyone's last names. I know all their first names, but I also don't know their traits all yet um, and I do want to tell you guys a bit about our current house guests. So, um, let me start with who I have first on my list, which would be Judd. If I can get the plumb bob over his head, that would be great. There we go. So this is Judd. His name is Judd Sue. He was intended to be like this uh, materialistic type of guy. You know, he's he's going to be that guy. <laughs> he's going to be that guy that you kind of just want to punch all the time. Um, so his traits are he is materialistic, self-absorbed, and a burrow. Um, I believe next we should have Bonnie. This is Bonnie Doyle. She is good, neat, and romantic. She is supposed to be, like, the fun, loving aunt of the series type thing, you know. She's very colorful, and Jem, I, I love her, <laughs> but you already know that. This is Kieran. He has a little bit of a dad bud going on. I'm kind of in love with him. He's adorable. He's like a closet nerd. Like if you look at him, you don't really think that, but he is creative. Oh, his name is Kieran Satterfield. He is creative, outgoing, and he loves the outdoors. Next, we should have Vera, who is looking a little bit confused. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Um, she is a perfectionist, music lover, and a dog lover. It was funny when I first... This isn't the same group that I took the f photos of. Um, I popped them all in, took the photos, and then deleted that household because they had skills and relationships with one another because they were in the house for a bit because I was taking the pictures. So then I just took a fresh version of these guys and plopped them back in. But um, <laughs> I the house hadn't been placed yet, and so it still had a celebrity dwelling trait on it and she got so embarrassed so it took like I'll, I'll go and show you the photos again but it took me like six tries to get a good good photo of her because she just looked embarrassed the entire time she had these crazy poses i was like can you please just give me like a semi-normal one and she finally did um so next we should have addison hawthorne she is clumsy a perfectionist and paranoid she originally had the vegetarian trait instead of paranoid 
But then I realized, hey, I can't control these Sims. She and Sims are dumb. And she will end up eating stuff with me and make herself sick. And I don't want that to happen. So I changed her trait to paranoid because, frankly, I didn't want her to be vomiting everywhere. Um, so next we have Roderick McSteel. He is self-assured, evil, and clumsy. Very excited about this guy. Um, oh gosh, his swimwear gem, <laughs> please. Um, we next have, oh, his eyes are closed. Can you open them? Thank you. This is Xander Drake. He is a dance machine, outgoing, and a goofball. He is also really adorable, and it's funny because this shirt I have on him. Um, not the same design, but I almost picked this design. <laughs> and then I went and looked at him because I didn't make him, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's a good thing I didn't pick that shirt, but he is really adorable, and you'll see him in the intro, like, cooking and stuff. And last but not least, we have Miss Hallie Buchanan. She is outgoing, also loves the outdoors, and she is neat. She is kind of like this free-spirited type girl, you know, she really loves yoga and meditating and all that, so she's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and I do- oh goodness. I do want to say a quick thank you to those lovely friends of mine who so nicely created some of these sims for me. Jem created Bonnie as well as Roderick. Um, it's so weird calling you Jem when I just want to call you Joey, but then Joey, locating my heart Joey, created Vera Santos. And my lovely friend Emily created Mr. Xander Drake. Um, so thank you guys so much and... I know I haven't been the best of friends this past, like, however many months. Um, when I when I end up going through things, I kind of shut myself down. And I close myself off because I'm one of those people that needs to deal with things on my own. Um, it's just easier for me to process and get myself through things. But the I have many friends who have stuck by me through this, and I thank you for doing so. Because I don't know where I would be without you, so thank you, and thank you for... Trusting me with your lovely sims. So, this picture. This was like the best pose I had. The rest she had like her finger like awkwardly to her mouth or she just like had this cringing grin on. I'm just like, Vera, please. It's not that big of a deal. I already changed, changed the lot trait. She was embarrassed throughout the entire photo shoot and this spanned like, what, like three or four sim hours? And she was just embarrassed the entire time. Um, the rest of them were fine. This guy, my lovely Judd, my goodness, when I was taking pictures of him, I, I hated that pose that he has right there. But that was the only pose he gave me for like four shots. So I was like, fine, I'm just using it because I'm sick of taking pictures of you. Um, but I actually think their poses kind of reflect their personalities in a little bit of a way. Maybe not Bonnie's. Her should be a little bit more like fun loving and stuff like that. But I think I may also record the first part after this. Um, but yeah, so there's the house. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed the intro and be on the lookout for the first part of this series. It will be coming pretty darn soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!